You're watching Up With Krim. Welcome back, world. The world is taking notice of what we might have known all along, that the Inland Northwest has a great craft beer scene. And this morning, one of our own is celebrating a pretty big win at the 2020 World Beer Awards. Joining us live this morning is John Bryant with No Lie Brew House. John, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. How are you guys today? Doing pretty well. Now you're coming home with some hefty hardware. Tell us about your big win and what the what the event was. Well, first of all, we want to do a shout out to everybody in Spokane and say congratulations. It's uh, really kind of a life's work of a, of a lot of people at No Life. It's really unprecedented. Um, we traveled beers to London, England to compete against 2,200 of the world's finest beers. And Holy cow, we came home with a gold for the Cascade Fog Hazy IPA and a silver medal for the Red, White, and Hazy IPA, which are brewed right here in Spokane. And there's just a lot of love and caring that goes into it. And No Life's been a nine-year journey in itself of creating just a, an amazing epicenter of craft brewing in Spokane with trade people and artists. And it's really a passion. And I think the passion showed through in Europe. Now, uh, we understand that these beers are part of some new recipes this year. Is that correct? Absolutely. You know, it, it's part of our uh, analytics and, and lab work. Uh, we isolated some really just amazing new yeast, juicy, hazy yeast. Uh, came across some hops that were very difficult to find. And if I incorporated that really into all our beers, all our processes, and you, what you have is really some magical beer made right here in Spokane by about... 80 people that drive NOLI every day, but you know, we're really a servant company. And I think in our culture, it's serving Spokane and serving the outlying areas, be it Reardon, Davenport, Malden, you know, wherever, wherever it is, there's people that we can get great, fresh hometown craft beer to. Well, John, I know that we're all proud to say that, you know, you're coming from the in the Northwest, but what was this year's process like compared to maybe other beer festivals, especially with everything we have going on in a very odd 2020 year. Yeah, it's unique to be talking to you right now without a mask. And, um, you know, that, that, that human element of contact, of, you know, seeing people when you're wearing a mask and it covers half your face, that we really try to make time to social distance to have a pint of beer to connect. Beer is all about connection. Um, down at the pub, or if you're drinking no eye or another craft beer at a local pub, it, it's all about that interaction, and that's really been distant with COVID. And um, it, it's obviously a lot more expensive to make beer right now, uh, following all the, the processes that we need to ensure that everybody is safe and healthy, our customers are safe and healthy. Um, it, it's just, it's emotionally draining. Yeah. We do live our life, as most people do, since March in 12-hour increments. And... I say that sincerely because we have to make sure every 12 hours, everybody at NOLI is safe and healthy. Every 12 hours, we're reviewing our guidelines. Uh, and every 12 hours, we reset. And so it's two days within every day. But we, you have to look for some goodness. You have to look for things to celebrate. Uh, there's just a lot of negativity and a lot of pain and a lot of hurt right now. And we really wanted to share these awards. We were off the rocker excited. This is nothing that's ever happened in Spokane super unprecedented. Um, you can look back to 1976 when, you know, uh, Northern California sent their wines to France and those wines from Napa and Sonoma won the gold medal and the red and white. And then that, that area of the United States just took off as a hotbed for wine in the world. And we'd like to think we're just part of that with a lot of great breweries in Spokane that I believe that we can create an economic juggernaut here that drives tourism, living wage jobs, artists, craftsmen that come to Spokane to be a part of something truly, truly special. And the No Eye journey started in 2012, and we want to be those pioneers that help pave the way for other people to follow. And, and just we should all be so proud of the community that we compete on the world stage and we win together. Well, John, I know that Dana Marie and I were talking before we started this interview about how proud we were to be able to say that we live in a town with people like you that made an award-winning beer with that Cascade Fog. So congratulations. Looking forward to seeing what other kinds of tricks you're bringing back from that festival as well to share with us here in the, in the Northwest. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.